this right here is my queen. And this right here is my king. She's going to tell you the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. You are listening to Marriage Mornings with the Queen, where I'm going to keep it nothing but real. Let's go. Great morning, great morning, great morning, everyone. How are you all doing? This is your girl, Shan. This is your girl, Shan. As y'all can tell, I am like crazy happy on this morning. Like I'm so overjoyed. Oh my God. Just to know that God oh, brought me and my husband together to do that awesome show on yesterday. It is still so unreal to me. The things that God can do when we line up with his vision and plan for our lives. Because me and my husband were discussing that that's something that we uh, that's something that we probably wouldn't have did, you know, if we were trying to do it on our own. But when God is in it, when God is in it, oh my God! So first off, I'd like to thank you all for your support, your love. Oh my God, we received texts, we received inbox messages of congratulations, the feedback that you all were giving. Good morning, Tasha. During the show man was so unreal. And so I'm going to continue to ask that we continue to do this together. If you have any questions, if you have any topics that you desire to be discussed, of course, me and my husband would take that into consideration and we will pray over that thing because we have to do what God gives us. But I thank you all. Oh my God. I mean, when you step out on what God desires for you to do, he'll make sure that you have everything you need to be successful at. And then of course, we want to thank um, the radio owners. Good morning, Simone, Ron, and Mimi Grace, you know, just for being on the show with us last night. Um, but in the event that you missed the show, we do have the Facebook Live recorded video, and we're going to purpose at least throughout the rest of this year to use Facebook Live, um, and then God is going to transform us to another platform that we're going to do so um, it can bless even more in the world. But for now, this month and next month, we will be using Facebook Live, and then we're going to transition again, so we ask that you all transition with us. So welcome to Good Morning uh, my, uh morning with the queen. We're going to talk about this topic real quick. And I, like I said, I'll probably be a little bit more um, real on Facebook Live as I always am versus, you know, the radio show. It just depends on how God lead. But to morning, this morning's topic is, are you a king, a queen, or a peasant? Mm -hmm. God gave me this. I promise y'all. So I'm going to be reading a lot of things on this morning. Um, that a lot of things on this morning that God gave me, I promise you, I was sitting in church on Sunday and this dropped in my spirit. So I'm going to share it. Are you a king, a queen, or a peasant? So are you a king? If you are not married and you're single, are you husband material? Are you a queen for those who are married? Um, for those who are not, are you wife material? Now, when I'm talking about king and queen, of course, I'm talking about, you know, those who are married, husband and wife. I'm not um, denouncing anybody who see themselves and wear that crown on their head as a king or a queen. And just because you're not married, you're not such. That's not what I'm saying right now. I'm speaking to those who are married, but I am speaking to those who are single. So, when I think about a king, and I need you all ladies to go on ahead and drop some comments and stuff like that, because of course, a lot of the material that God has given me and dropped in my spirit to use for Facebook Live will also be used for the radio um, show. A lot of people say, dang, Shannon, it gets so good. I get into it. And then you say, oh, okay, well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. And I'll be like, no, it needed to be longer than that. Well, guess what? God gave us a whole 60 minutes, okay, on the radio show. But let me get to it. When I think about a king, I'm thinking about how God set it up as husbands. I think about a protector and provider. When I think about a king, a man, a husband who is protecting and providing for his family at all costs, who holding it down, a man who puts his family before himself, you know, uh, um, and I'm not going to just say, you know, I'm not impartial. I love country brothers. You know what I'm saying? I love a good country brother. My husband is a good country brother, um, but that provides for us. We may not have all the things that we 
want, but we have everything that we need. However, he will break his neck to ensure that we have, you know, our heart's desire or at least some of it, you know. So that's what I think when it comes to a husband, a husband who a king loves his queen, loves his wife, will hold it down. Baby, his queen couldn't call and say, uh-huh, baby, this just went down and he ain't right there riding in like the cavalry. That's what I think about when I think of a king, a man that is handling his business and that is handling his home. Now, when I think about a queen, when I take it to the Bible uh, scriptures, God showed me Proverbs 31. I don't know, ladies, if you're single or even if you're married, if you have taken the time to read Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31, baby, when I tell you, I'm just going to you know, keep it real. Oh, girl was holding it down. She was handling her business. She was taking care of her home. She was doing what it is that she needed to do. That's a queen right there. You know what I'm saying? A queen don't always have to be out front. A queen can do what it needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that are done, the king don't even know about. He don't even realize that it's being done, but it's things to further advance them as a family, that further advance them as a husband and wife, and to further advance their home. So, of course, I'm trying to answer this twofold for the married and for the singles. Um, because I know those are both who tune in and they ask, okay, give us some examples. So this, this is some of the things that, that God gave me. Ladies, you have to realize that you are a queen and stop carrying yourself like a peasant. That go for the kings as well. We're going to get into where the peasant is because he gave me a whole little list. So. Don't expect ladies to be treated like a queen if you act like a peasant. Mm, yeah, uh-huh. There are plenty of kings out there looking for a queen. But the problem is that many women looking for kings, and that is a peasant move. Now, my husband, which I love the fact that he spoke about it last night, <laughs> and he said he wasn't trying to pick on the ladies, but the Bible does say he, he, him, he, him, he, king, that finds a wife, a queen finds a good thing, you know, and obtain favor from the Lord. He found. So I was just talking about that. So for my husband to speak that on the radio show, that lined up, that confirmed furthermore what I, what I was saying and what God was speaking through me, but it confirmed it through my husband. And, you know, I, I praise and thank God for that. Just because you have the title don't mean that you are really wearing the crown. Meaning, if you're a king, you're a husband, if you're a queen, you're married, just because you got the title, you, you might not be wearing that uh that uh crown right. You might not even be wearing that title right. I'm not trying to pick on anybody because I don't know your business, you know. Uh of course, by our last name, no pun intended, king, queen. That's what they used to call us in the military, the king and the queen. And God brought that thing. That was in the, in the natural, but God brought that thing back around in the spiritual. Even for myself, Shan, I had to learn how to be my husband's queen. Trust and believe, I started off like a peasant for sure because, baby, I didn't know. I was a hothead. I always wanted to have the last word. You couldn't tell me nothing. See, my husband didn't want to deal with all that. I thank God that he stayed with me through that. But that was some peasant uh, tendencies right there. And speaking of peasant tendencies, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, uh, down the list that God dropped in my spirit. I was like, oh, okay. Good morning, Delisha. Hey, sis, what peasant tendencies? And then back to the king the queen, or if you're not carrying yourself as a king or queen, you might have some peasant tendencies that we need to work on and go before God. When you're always walking around with an attitude, yeah, peasant tendencies, attitude. Don't nobody want to deal with that in a marriage 24-7. Uh, when you're always walking around bitter. Now, how? this is for my singles. How you going to walk around uh, uh, bitter and, and with an attitude, but you talking about you waiting on your bow ass? You waiting on your queen. Don't nobody want to deal with that. Don't nobody. Because guess what? If you showing me what you going to be like before, I say I do. Huh? I ain't trying to be married to you. I'm just saying. Uh, you will know it all. You always got to have the last word. Don't nobody want to be dealing with that 24-7. I'm just saying. So th that pe uh, peasant tendencies, let us keep on bushing. Always have to be right. 
always have to have the last word. Punish others for what someone else has done to you in the past. That is a peasant tendency. When you punishing your husband or your wife for what your mama, your daddy, your ex have done to you in the past, your cousin, Pookie and them, whomever. Don't be punishing me for what you went through in your past. What you need to do is you need to deal with your past. Quit trying to brush it under the rug. Deal with your past so I don't have to get the repercussions thereof. Uh, peasant tendencies, let us continue. You're thirsty. Uh, you're selfish. You're money hungry. You a user. Yeah. Uh, and you always want to receive but hardly want to give. Those are peasant tendencies. That is not that of a king or a queen. Because guess what? When you mature, and my husband said it last night, and that thing was so awesome. When you mature, because I had to mature, who you see now, 18 years ago, mm-mm, child, mm-mm. Not even with the looks, honey. I was ready to fight at a moment. No, what you say? What? what? I mean, yeah, no, uh-uh. But I had to realize I'm a husband's wife. Not only am I representing my husband, but I'm representing God. So that's part of the maturity. It's going to take some time. Like my husband said last night on the radio show, surround yourself with people. You know what I'm saying? That are already where you are designed for you and your marriage to go. Sometime in marriage, most of the time, you can't around, uh, surround yourself with people when you're trying to work on your marriage and be the king and queen that God has called you to be. Hey, good morning, Pat. Love you, sis. That God has called you to be. And then you turning around and you having to deal with everybody's unnecessary drama in their marital situation or their relationship situation. I don't know about y'all, but that mess can be straight up uh, uh, draining. So if, if you're a king and queendom, you need to really seek God and ask God what it is that God show me my peasant tendencies. Don't automatically be listening to this. You tell me, uh-huh, my husband is like that. Yep, that's him. Yet yeah, selfish user, you married him. <clears throat> yeah, okay. No, we need to work on our own individual self. God, show me as Mr. King's wife if I'm carrying any peasant tendencies that I need to get rid of. God, show me what I need to do to be his queen, to carry and bring um bring honor not only to my husband, but to you, God. Show me me. But see, a lot of us don't want to pray and seek God and ask God to show us us because we don't want to see our nasty self, especially if we're pointing the finger at everybody else. So, huh, on today, you ask your own self. I'm going to ask my own self when I get off and even when I go back and listen to this. Am I carrying myself like a king? Am I carrying myself like a queen or am I carrying myself like a peasant? And you got the list of peasant tendencies. Those are some that God shared. You all go ahead and have a blessed day. Blessings to you. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Share this because it's free. And you never know when you share who you blessed because you don't know which one of your friends is going through in their marriage. It's not for us to know. It's for us to pray. So y'all have a blessed day. I'll be with y'all on tomorrow. Thank you again for your support. Please, we're asking because we have to do this as a village in order to help save marriages, to build stronger um, uh, uh, communities and stronger families. Blessings to you. God bless. Love you all. Bye-bye.